everybody in the video online world. It's me, Miss Isabel Marie 13, coming from the wrap up of week seven, beginning of week eight. Today is Sunday, March 4th, 2012. Um, I'm happy to report that I am down uh, 26 pounds total. So I lost two pounds from the week before. I'm down 10 and a half inches from my waist, 10 inches from my hips. I feel great. I love where this is going. I'm almost down 30 pounds and I couldn't be more excited. Today is day 49 of the Viveo Fitness Challenge. And I want to show you a little bit of the food prep for week eight. Then that way you guys can kind of know what we're up to. So let's get on with the food. Um, as always, we have our Faveo Zango line. Here's the multivitamin. Here's Elevive. Here's the Faveo Cleanse. The Faveo Fiber is back here. This is the Bone Health. This is the Omega 3s. This is my glutamine that Zango doesn't offer, but I do take um, every day for the gym. This is the Faveo Stevia, which is better than sugar and a lot more pure and natural. Here's the metabolic uh, tablets, and then there's the protein. Here's the whey, and then the back is the vegetable. As always, we have lots and lots and lots of water. Um, this week we do have nutmeg, pumpkin for our pumpkin shakes. Back here we have our yogurt, cottage cheese, and salsa. I couldn't find sweet rice, but I got long grain rice. I was really excited. I splurged on this. Ironically, um, when I came home, I found out that this is the actual company that makes the sweet brown rice. It just wasn't available in my area. So I thought it was kind of cool that I got their long grain rice. Now, I did splurge on this. I spent a whole $4 on this, which I didn't need. I had regular brown rice, but I, I figured since I couldn't find the sweet rice, might as well splurge a little bit. Back here we have some Fiber One, we have our milk, our skim milk, lots of eggs this week, but don't worry, we're not just eating all eggs. This is actually for French toast, which I'm really excited. How many times do you get to say, hey, I'm losing weight and eating things like French toast and, you know, um, tacos and burritos and even pizza? So that's uh, on the menu this week, French toast. Here's our multigrain crackers. Um, our shrimp from last week, I bought extra and ta-da, we ended up needing it this week. I'm substituting fish for shrimp. Or I should say shrimp for the fish because I don't eat uh, fish. So um, back here is our cereal, our whole grain cereal, which obviously I buy the big bags. It comes in handy. Strawberries are in the menu. Um, I got the grapefruit. Here's uh, the cucumber, some onions, avocado. I had leftover tomatoes, leftover mustard, relish from a previous week, pickles. Um, here's some bread. The bread I'm going to discuss here in a minute. Um, here's some whole wheat buns around my Faveo Bible and my chicken, which I had some leftover from last week, but it wasn't going to be enough, so I'm going to use about one or two and then have a whole week's worth of chicken or even more saved up, so that's going to be good. Here's our um, measuring cups and spoons. Uh, I have the two ounce to go uh, cups that I reuse over and over again and the one ounce, which one ounce is two tablespoons, two ounces four tablespoons, and I also have my scale. Now, the reason why I wanted to talk about this spread is because we're supposed to find bread that was within the caloric uh, range, which is 80 uh, calories per slice, whole wheat. Now, I couldn't find one that was in that range, and so I got this one. The nice thing is, is it's sliced very thin, and one serving, which would be one slice, is about uh, 40 calories, actually a little under. So, because we're looking to have um, two slices at 80 calories each for our French toast, this means I'm going to actually use four breads, which kind of is cool because psychologically I'm eating more, but at the same time I'm staying within that caloric range. And that's something that you can do. Um, you do want to stay at, at whatever the calorie range is and under, but if for whatever reason you can't find it, this is a great alternative. I did ask my trainer. She said it was a great idea. And the nice thing is, is that because the it's thinly sliced, so basically two of these would make one regular um, slice of bread at 80 calories, I could eat four, so that was really cool. Now the other thing with the bread was the buns, the whole wheat buns. I could not find whole wheat buns within our caloric range. There was one that was, I think the lowest was 180 calories for the natural whole wheat buns, and we wanted to find something that was, I believe, let me double check, Ta -da 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 -da. see our handy dandy guide. Um, whole wheat bun. One bun equals 110 calories. I think the, the least I found, like I said, was 180. I found one that was 130, but it was, still wasn't the same. So I got these whole wheat sandwich rounds, which they're just like buns. They're just thinner. They're already pre-cut. And the nice thing is, is that one equals uh, 100 calories. So I'm actually getting to eat what I, I have on the menu and saving 10 calories, which I thought was really neat. And those are just some ideas you could do. You could substitute things out, you know, just... 
here's the thing. I don't want people to get this bread and be like, oh, since it's only 40 calories, I'll have two slices and I'll cut my calories in half. This one, hey, 10 calories, that was the, the best of my options. I didn't want to go over, I wanted to go under. But with this one, please don't cut down your calories because we're eating in a way that fuels our body and instead of eating, oh, well, I'll just have two slices and stay with 80 calories instead of, you know, two slices of the regular size at 160 calories. No, I'm eating four of these to equal the 160 because I don't want to to deprive my body that's when you crave that's when you starve that's when you cheat so make sure that you are following the faveo guide which has just been a help very very much so so guys this is the end of week seven the beginning of week eight i can't believe like we're almost there like we only have four more weeks after this i'm so surprised how fast it's gone but 26 pounds down i'm super super excited like i said last week was very very hectic unexpected you know change happened in my life and for me personally it was just not i wasn't able to go to the gym but i felt it i felt it on every level of my being and i'm so glad that you know i'm getting to go back to the gym tomorrow and i'm really excited about it and just the the water the hydration all the components to favea is very important and there's a lot of people that have great 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 success and there's a few that don't have such good success and when you dig a little deeper they're not drinking enough water they're not getting enough sleep or they're not really sticking to the faveo way they're cheating a little bit or making their own you know rules up as they go along stick to the program it absolutely works so this is me miss isabel marie signing off i hope you guys have a great great week like i'm going to and if you need anything you could go ahead and follow my progress at facebook.com forward slash isabel marie 13 youtube.com forward slash isabel marie 13 or you can also go ahead and find out more about Faveo at www.screwdietswithans.com. Look forward to seeing you guys on the slimmer slide. And remember, healthy never looked and tasted this good. Bye-bye.